So, what you do is... There was the great escape Then there were hardships So, this is Anna Atkinson. What is that thing you're playing? Uh, this is an Omnichord. Show it a little closer. It's got, uh, um, chords. Different chords, like an accordion. Oh. And it has, um, heart. What are you talking about? That's kind of cool. Oh. It also has a built-in drum machine. So. No. Serious. It's like one studio right in a... Yeah. Tennis racket. You don't really need any other thing. Looking and, instrument. Uh, the kind of the best thing is there's like an auto bass. Yeah. Hold on, I gotta turn the sustain up. Sustain. What? What is sustain? So the sustain is how long. Um, the uh, uh, it takes for the sound to decay. So, for example, if I turn all of the sustain off, ah. it doesn't ring for very long. Ringless. Whereas if I turn it up a little bit, it starts to have a bit more of a tail. And then if I turn it all the way up, ah. it goes on forever. Ah. Exactly. What is your favorite toe my my fourth toe because it doesn't get a lot of attention oh that's very empathetic so I, yes exactly that's <laughs> i think that just summed up my personality yeah? <laughs> today's word is empathetic mm. yeah well, I did, I broke my left ankle when oh. I was 12. And so had like a subtle limp for a few years afterwards. Mm -hmm. um, what did you do, so Pilates? Maybe did you that do Pilates to fix it? At first I had a cast, <laughs> mm -hmm. but then um, I think I just started uh, walking more mindfully and eventually mm -hmm. it sort of went away. Yeah. But, That's uh, walking mindfully. But it's funny, it's, it's yes, mm -hmm. lately, in the last couple of years, um, I've been doing uh, a lot of kettlebell training. Nice. Yeah, this is a 16 kilo bell, and you swing it around, basically. There are lots of different, you can lift it, you can just practice carrying it around the house, squat it, and then there are more sort of complicated movements you can do that are more similar to what you would do with an Olympic uh, weightlifting barbell. You can deadlift it up, and the most important thing is that you hinge with your hips, so you're not picking up things kind of hinged over, or like bent in your back. Oh, you, so no. Great, uh, actually, really good training for uh, schlepping gear, because oh. uh, if you're lifting a heavy amp, it's you use these same principles. You lift it here, and then the one of the basic things you do is swing it. Wow. And you hinge at your hips. Hey, what instrument is that? A viola. Look at that. It looks like a person. Yeah. Holy cow. Is it bigger than a violin? It is. So it's a good two inches longer and it's also a bit deeper and a bit wider it's tuned a fifth lower so it's it's not as low as a cello but it a fifth lower than a violin one two three four five one two three four one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve what what technique is that that did you're not using the bow yeah this is um called pizzicato um, or plucking. Again, it's it's not, um, it doesn't have the same sustain as if you're playing the bow, um, and it's more percussive. Cha -cha, cha -cha, cha -cha. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. How do you, do you, when you write songs, mm -hmm. how do you write? Do you, what's your process? 
you, you have something? Some songs that come really, really, really quickly and some that take like months or even years to kind of come to fruition. I often will come up with like one line, you know, like a, like one of the one songs liner. that I wrote uh, is the first line actually sort of arrived in a dream thing and I heard I my in my dream somehow it was we all come in a long long line and Ooh. that was sort of the beginning however it arrived it's um text with a melody and a rhythm like sort of all together and it's usually the first line of the piece or like the chorus or something like that and and then it's sort of like, it's like a little opening. It's like the little crack in something comes and then it's away in. We all come in a flash of light. We all come in a flash of light. We all come in a flash of light. 